Hi guys, in this video, I'll tell you how a business analyst can work jointly with the product owner and the scrum team to add value to a scrum project. But before we get started, hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel so that you can receive many more videos like this. Hi, I'm Sajna Binil. I'm the founder of Business Analysis Hub the fastest growing community of business analysts in India. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction of Scrum. But let's first understand how Scrum evolved. In our traditional waterfall method, we all know that software was developed in a phase-wise manner, which means there are defined phases for every activity. We have the planning phase, we have the design, development and testing phase. And every phase produced an output which directly became an input to the following process. So the traditional waterfall method was extremely successful in projects which had crystal clear requirements, fixed requirements and a fixed timeline to be completed. However, the traditional method had its own pitfalls. The longer time taken by the traditional method to deliver working software was one of the growing concern for the customers as well as the software companies. As the years went by, the complexity of software projects increased. There was a heavy demand from the customers to deliver software faster. Software companies were constantly looking for a process that could help them meet the market demands, help them deliver software faster to their customers, help them adapt changes very effectively, as well as allow their customers see, evaluate and provide feedback for the working software. So Scrum came as an answer to all of this. Now Scrum was created by Jeff Sutherland and Ken Schwaber in the early 90s. It was presented in a conference in Texas. This framework gained extreme popularity in the software arena during the early 2000s as more and more software projects started adopting the Scrum framework. Please understand Scrum is not a methodology. It is a framework it is a framework that can be modified and suited to your project needs. Scrum falls under the Agile umbrella and it works on the Agile principles. So let's understand some more facts about Scrum. So Scrum is an iterative and incremental framework. Iterative because here software is developed in successive iterations. Every iteration, the team writes code based on the requirements given by the product owner and further refines the code based on the feedback given by the product owner and the business users. This allows the product to grow and reach up to a level where it's acceptable to the business users. Incremental because here software is delivered in small chunk and frequently. So in the Scrum framework, we did not develop the entire product and deliver it to customer, but we build software piece by piece, feature by feature, present it to the product owner and the business users and get a sign off and move on to the next set of features. So Scrum is an empirical process that allows you to review, evaluate and readjust to build a software that is as per the customer's expectations. The three pillars of Scrum implementation are transparency, inspection, and adaptation. Transparency. Scrum believes that the team members in a Scrum project should be absolutely transparent with each other with respect to their deliverables. This helps the team stay focused and remove obstacles as soon as possible. So transparency is very, very required in a Scrum project, guys. Inspection. Scrum artifacts should be regularly reviewed to ensure they meet the acceptance criteria. So in a Scrum project, the sprint deliverables are regularly inspected for quality and for ensuring that they meet the acceptance criteria. This allows the team to enhance the product and build it as per the business expectations. Adaptation. There might be instances when an inspection reveals that um, the deliverables are not as per the acceptance criteria and the product might not be accepted. The Scrum team can quickly make adjustments to the process, to the features and deliver a better uh, product in the next iteration. So Scrum gives you the flexibility to adapt quickly to changes. Now let us look at some of the values of Scrum. Number one, commitment. Scrum teams should be absolutely committed to their work. They should be accountable for each other's work 
and help each other whenever it is necessary that is commitment value number 2 focus in order to ensure timely delivery scrum teams have to stay focused towards the project goal this is ensured by defining a sprint goal for every sprint every sprint has a clearly defined goal associated with it and the team works together to attain that goal number 3 openness scrum teams should be absolutely transparent and open to each other they should be very transparent about their work deliverables team members should be absolutely open about their work the issues that they are facing and the mistakes that they have made it is only through openness that the team can work together in a collaborative environment number 4 respect in a scrum team the team members should respect each other's decisions and their experience every team member brings in a wealth of knowledge and skills to the table and we should respect that you should also respect your business users and try to get their problems resolved as soon as possible having mutual respect for each other helps you work in a collaborative environment much more effectively point number 5 courage scrum believes in taking risks and finding the most viable and optimized solution for its customers scrum team members should have enough courage to voice their opinion and be vocal about uh, their uh, opinions and suggestions uh, whenever it's asked so these five values are the core values of a scrum team now let's move on to see which are the predominant roles that we find in a scrum project so let's look at the product owner's role as the name suggest product owner is the owner of the product now product owner can be internal or external to an organization now if you are working in an it services organization and you are building software for a bank or an insurance company then the product owner will be from your customers organization so product owners are responsible for the vision of the product they build the strategy for the product and they are responsible for the product backlog no one no one can make any changes to the product backlog except the product owner so they are the people who groom the product backlog they work very collaboratively with the scrum team to understand their issues and clarify requirements uh, to them whenever it's required they also actively participate in the planning process the release planning the sprint planning they are aware of the sprint goals and they work very and they work collaboratively with the scrum team to define all these things product owners also work collaboratively with the business stakeholders to understand their needs and translate those needs into features that can add value to the product so product owner is the decision maker in the project he or she has the right to accept the delivery or refuse the delivery so it's a very very critical role in a scrum project now let us look at the role of the scrum master now scrum master acts as a mentor and coach to the scrum team he is a person who has very good knowledge of the scrum process and he is a person who can induct and coach a new team members who are not familiar with the scrum process so educating them about what are the right scrum practices so scrum master is also the person who facilitates and drives all the scrum meetings and ensures that pro- proper norms are followed in these meetings scrum master also ensures that the team uh, is aware of the sprint progress so the sprint burn down charts are regularly reviewed by the scrum master so that they can alert the team wherever uh, there is a lot of work pending in the sprint so they are uh, constantly aware of the progress the team is making towards the goal one thing that we have to understand about this role is scrum masters are not project managers guys do not confuse scrum masters with project managers so unlike a project manager the scrum master does not allocate work to the team so estimation of work in a scrum project is done uh, collaboratively by the entire scrum team once the estimation is done the scrum team members divide the tasks amongst each other and they start working on the tasks there is no work allocation done by the scrum master scrum master also ensures that all the impediments and roadblocks faced by the scrum team members are removed by him scrum master also ensures any roadblocks or impediments faced by the scrum team members are resolved as soon as possible so that's the scrum master's role now let's look at the scrum team in a scrum project the scrum team is very very 
powerful because they are the people who define the sprint goal and work towards it in a collaborative way so scrum team consists of developers architects designers database administrators uh, business analysts testers network engineers so all the other roles that you find in a waterfall project fit into a scrum team here so as a business analyst you will also be a part of the scrum team scrum team members have the power and authority to estimate for every user story so they define the sprint goal they estimate for the user stories that have been prioritized and they divide the tasks amongst each other they also uh, have daily stand up meetings where they can evaluate uh, their progress towards the sprint goal and make corrections wherever it's required scrum teams are usually cross functional teams where the team members have multiple skills uh, so that they can you know move from one role to the other and help each other and work in a much more collaborative way so let's understand a business analyst role in the scrum team well as a business analyst you will be working jointly with the product owner to understand which are the user stories that should go in the next sprint now in large projects product owners are handling a very huge product backlog so product owners do not get adequate time to break epics into user stories that's where the role of a ba comes in so product owner will define epics and the ba will work jointly with the product owner to break down these epics into user stories that means the ba needs to have several meetings with the product owner to understand the requirements in detail and seek clarifications so that she can write user stories for those epics these user stories are then uploaded in jira and uh, in backlog refinement meeting the team asks for specific clarifications on those user stories so the ba along with the product owner participates in the backlog refinement meeting where both of them give clarification to the team for the requirements that have been prioritized for the next sprint any queries that the scrum team members have during the development process is also taken care of by the ba because a product owner might not be available every time so the development team members queries are resolved the testing team members queries are resolved and any issues uh, in the product development are brought into notice uh, of the product owner by the business analyst the business analyst also participate in uh, daily scrum meetings and is very well aware and updated of the progress the team is making towards the goal so at any time the business analyst should be able to fill in the product owner with what is the progress of the team sprint review is another meeting uh, in which a business analyst play a key role because uh, in the sprint review there is a sprint demonstration made to the business users that these demonstrations allow the business users to understand the functionality that has been developed in that particular sprint the business analyst notes down all the changes and discusses these changes offline with the product owner the product owner will then go and update the product backlog appropriately sprint retrospective another important event which a business analyst can participate and add value as a business analyst you can jointly drive this meeting along with the scrum master and you can uh, highlight key points or key achievements that the team made during the previous sprint you can also give your suggestions and opinions about how things can be improved and based on the mistakes that were made in the previous sprint so uh, business analysts have a high amount of uh, problem solving and analytical skills which can be utilized in these meetings where you can give suggestions to bring about uh, process improvement in your project as well as adopt uh, make your team adopt some best practices that can further uh, enhance the quality of your deliverable so i hope this video has provided you a clear understanding of the scrum process and how bas can contribute to a scrum project so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching